So, Tesla driver makes the news yet again. This time, the driver was presumably, and I will say presumably, caught sleeping behind the wheel during a traffic, during in traffic, uh, while autopilot was doing all the hard work. Now, the reason I say presumably is because the video did not catch the driver's face. Uh, and because of that, we can't be sure if his eyes were open or closed. All we know is that the driver was in a fairly comfortable position leaning against the side pillar on his car. Now, is this a big deal or isn't it? Yes and no. Yes, it is a big deal. You should not be sleeping behind the wheel. Period. Not yet anyways. Unless, well, no, not, well, maybe unless once Tesla has finally released full autonomous driving and it's perfected. While I believe autonomous driving is very close, and I can't tell you why I know that, just trust me, uh, I don't think it's going to be ready yet for prime time in terms of you fall asleep at the wheel and just wake up magically in your destination. And for those that think autopilot currently works like that, that's incorrect. Um, Anybody that tells you otherwise is either trying to stretch the truth a little bit. Uh, Vinny, 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 Vinny. It's trying to stretch the truth a little bit or uh, make it sound better than it really is or just flat out lying uh, to people that don't quite understand the technology as much yet. At the moment, t- autopilot is a driver assistance feature, meaning my hands are not on the wheel. I'm still paying attention. I still am checking everything around me. In fact, it's probably safer that the car is driving, not counting because I'm recording a video, but safer because while the car is concentrating on keeping us in our lane, going down the road at the preset speed, and actually we're at 48 miles an hour because it's some crazy traffic right here. It's Memorial Weekend. What can I say? Uh, In the meantime, I'm able to look around and see, you know, where all the vehicles around us are uh, and see who's kind of weaving around a little bit. Ooh, cows! Oh, and there's some... Oh, that is one big cow pie. Uh, Welcome to Wisconsin, folks. Enjoy the beautiful countryside we drive past as well. So, in the end, and the statistics are out, with autopilot active, uh, you're about 50% more likely, or 50% safer than you would without autopilot. Now, is it possible to fall asleep in the car drive? Yes-ish. Now, there's a few safety features built into the Model S, Model X, and the upcoming Model 3. Uh, in terms of the autopilot assistance features. Number one, yes, I could just fall asleep right now. In fact, I will be the first to admit it's probably easier to fall asleep... That's better up. Behind the wheel of a Tesla on autopilot than it would be normally. And think back to your old, the old school days uh, and in driver's ed class. They talked about something called highway hypnosis. Highway hypnosis <laughs> is where you're just kind of sitting back driving... And the road just goes on and on, and it's just droning away. And that's when people who would have been generally wide awake just start to drift off and off and off. While it is possible to fall asleep while you're driving, even if you're not really fatigued, uh, even autopilot, now you're instead of concentrating on the road, if you let yourself just kind of lay back a little bit, maybe put the seat back. get the idea, you can get pretty darn comfy. Maybe you put a pillow behind your head, uh, turn on the seat heater on low, relieve the tension in your back. It's pretty easy to just kind of doze off. I will admit I have done it. Uh, not on purpose. Um, actually, the second time... Okay, you guys were with me, or at least my viewers were with me. I recorded my first trip at, from picking up from picking up the car. Uh, then I had to go back the next day a couple days later because I had to sign a few more papers that were accidentally missed due to, um, I can't even, I can't talk about it, certain agreements made. Now on the way back, it was kind of gloomy out day, not sunny out, just real cloudy, plain, and sure enough, 
I kind of dozed off a little bit. But here's the interesting part. Even if you do doze off, the car doesn't let you doze off for long because it regularly pops up warnings both on the screen and audible and and also can vibrate the steering wheel, which I have that feature disabled because it actually really annoyed the living crap out of me, which that's kind of its purpose, but it also vibrates if you start to deviate from your lane if you're driving yourself, not with autopilot. And uh, I mean, it was going off even if I got too close to the side of my lane. So I mean, it, it just, little hit annoyed the crap out of me and false positives too. So I turned that off. But the audio alerts, uh, let's just cover some of them. After autopilot automatically changes lanes for us, but notice I'm still checking my lane. Make sure it's clear. So the first alert pops up. Now this is just a basic, it's not meant to annoy you, but it pops up on the center screen and it just wants you to make sure you have your hands on the wheel. So it pops up, please place hands on your wheel. Okay, it goes away. But what happens, okay, loud music on, you're not paying attention to your screen, what happens if you don't touch the wheel? Simple. The car will mute your audio, or turn the volume extraordinarily down to almost nothing, and play an audible tone. Bing, bing, bing! That's right. Bing, bing, bing! You know, something like that. I don't know why I can't remember what it is. I've heard it enough. Uh, uh, but, uh, and it has the, the men message on the display gotta grab the wheel. If you still if you still don't pay attention to the wheel and uh, and it's still flashing the menu the message, it'll do it again. And as it does it that third time it'll start to slow the car down. And it'll continue to slow the car down until you either take control, you know, grab the wheel and so the car knows you're still there. Or if you don't, the car will bring you to a complete stop. I mistakenly said last time, um, this is actually version 2 of this video, uh, because I had a microphone problem on my ver version 1 that I didn't catch right away. Uh, turned out I, I, there was a, a short in my lapel microphone. This is a different one now. Uh, I tested it. It should be working, I hope, because I really don't feel like making this video a third time. So I mistakenly said last time it would pull you over to the side of the road and bring you to a complete stop. That's incorrect. But what will happen is the car will actually bring you to a complete stop right where you are. So if you're on the freeway, it will bring you to a complete stop in your lane. But it does it gradually, um, so it's not to be, it doesn't like it just slams on the brakes unless something comes out in front of you and it has to do emergency braking. Uh, but the idea behind that is to bring attention to your car. Because if by that point, all the errors, the warnings, uh, the emergency, wee, 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 the really loud emergency, take control of the vehicle immediately. If you still don't respond by then, then chances are uh, you are fully unconscious, had a heart attack, or maybe even dead. Who knows? I mean, it's happened before. People die behind the wheel all the time. Sometimes even without hitting something. Uh, so that way... Uh, people say, uh-oh, this guy just stopped in the middle of the freeway. Uh, something's wrong. And then maybe help will then come to you. Uh, air gas, liquid nitrogen, sweet. That thing is steaming. So, I mean, it's not like you can just get on the freeway like this, lay back and fall asleep and just wake up at your destination. It doesn't happen. I mean, it is possible to doze off for a few minutes, but the car will attempt to wake you up. It will sense something is wrong and it will bring you to a complete stop if you do not wake up and take control of the vehicle. Uh, personally, I think the person driving the Model S that was in uh, in the videos on the, in the news uh, was actually just kind of lounging, relaxing a bit. Uh, it looked, looked to be that he was in severe stop and go traffic and I mean we were in that on the way on our route today and uh, and the boys were comfortable right you were comfortable Gino right yeah we have to be the winner we're not racing okay so anyways got comfortable I did I, I kind of I didn't put my seat back but I just kind of you know got comfortable laid to the side you know put my hand up, stop, go, stop, go, stop, go, and you know what? Autopilot performed flawless this time. It's not foolproof, and it's still a work in progress, and it 
and it is. It's deep learning. Uh, there's 100 million miles so far as of a couple days ago. Elon made the statement of autopilot driving, and that's a deep learning where the cars learn from the whole fleet as it's in use. So it's not foolproof. Don't get me wrong. I will not admit that it's foolproof because it's not. Talking on a cell phone and driving while also smoking a cigarette in a non-autopilot car, though, is extraordinarily dangerous. Uh, so, I rest my case. I mean, there's not too much more to be said about the subject. At this time, it is not meant for sleeping behind the wheel. Is it possible to happen? Yes. Is it possible to fall asleep for a long time? Not unless there's something medically wrong for you or you're so fatigued, not even blaring sirens over your speaker system will wake you up. In that case, something's very wrong. The car will bring you to a complete stop, and hopefully a cop will drag you off to either jail or a paramedic will come and take you to the hospital. Uh, either Because either you were an idiot or you had a medical issue. That being said, let's have some fun. And no peeking. There's a reason I wear a hat, and it's to cover up the hole in the ozone layer. So we'll do that. And we'll take a little nap. Just kidding. <laughs> Made you look. Have a good night and have a safe travels for your Memorial Day weekend 2016. And don't forget, don't drink and drive. I had the unfortunate opportunity to see somebody drinking hard liquor while under autopilot, and I will be the narc. I called the cops on the guy. Uh, I mean, it was on the freeway. And it was while I was going through Chicago. I doubt anything happened to the person. But um, autopilot is also not meant for drinking and driving. Uh, of course, no matter what you do, there's always going to be an idiot, a fool, ruining it for somebody. So hopefully, hopefully uh, nobody ruins it any more than it already has been. Uh, well, nothing can be fully idiot proof. Uh, I mean, the functionality of the vehicle is great as it is, and the only reason more safeguards would have to be put in place would be because people are abusing it. No, we're not going to crash the car. No, we're not. Say, have a good Memorial Day weekend to everybody. Have a good Memorial Weekend. Please honor those who have fallen. Smile, cheese.